An ancient Chinese proverb tells us the longest journey begins with the first step. The truth of that saying has never been more clear than when it comes to writing your research paper. writing a research paper is to choose your topic. This critical first step will determine what direction you take and how long it requires you to reach your goal of a polished paper. A bad step at this point could send you over a cliff. That's why it's best to follow a series of steps that will take you through the process of focusing and narrowing a research paper topic that will allow you to do your best research and produce your best writing. There are two types of papers that you can write, single viewpoint or multiple viewpoint. In the single viewpoint paper, you, the writer, take a clear stance or position on the issue you've chosen. For example, consider this thesis. Maryland's current age discrimination laws are unfair to small businesses. Now clearly, this writer has a definite point of view on the issue. And in this paper, the writer will present arguments or reasons to prove the truth and validity of that belief. Now contrast the single viewpoint paper with this, the multiple viewpoint paper. Here, the writer's purpose is to present all sides of the issue, not just one, in an even-handed, objective way. Then, at the end, the writer will try to reconcile the different points of view or find common ground among them. So our example thesis would change to something like, Maryland's debate over age discrimination law focuses on fairness to small businesses. You see, no side is taken in the multiple viewpoint paper. Clearly, the writer will present both sides of this debate. Now, once you've chosen the kind of topic you will examine and the kind of paper you will write, single or multiple viewpoint, it's time to brainstorm a list of topics. As you begin sorting out these very preliminary ideas, try applying these three tests. A valid, workable topic will pass all three tests, making it debatable, plausible, and consequential. Now, debatable simply means that disagreement exists. In other words, the issue is not settled. Let's look at an example. Quote, business owners should not be allowed to discriminate on the basis of race. Is that debatable? No. What reasonable person would advocate discriminating against someone because of their race? Unfortunately, some still do, but the debate is over. The law is clear. Now, consider this thesis. Compensation caps should be placed on discrimination suits against small businesses. Is that debatable? Yes. Compensation caps are something that is being debated right now and thus would pass the first test. Now, to be plausible, those who debate your topic must be able to offer valid reasons for their position. Consider this claim. Discrimination laws are invalid because the reasons why humans discriminate are unknown. Now, while some human behavior is indeed a mystery, that is not a valid reason for negating our laws against discrimination. As a matter of fact, this lack of plausibility calls into question a paper topic that tries to argue the in invalidity of discrimination law. It's difficult these days to offer plausible claims for that position, although it is debatable. Finally, although a topic may be debatable with solid, plausible reasoning, the outcome must be of consequence. 
For example, the topic, Golden Retrievers Make the Best Family Dog, is certainly debatable to us poodle owners, and the arguments on both sides are strong, disposition, faithfulness, intelligence, etc. But in the end, after the debate is over, the consequences are not significant. Now, with that information as background, let's walk through the three main steps in choosing and refining a research paper topic. Choosing, filtering, questioning. First, choosing. Now, if you've heard this advice before, good, because it's very true. Try to choose a topic that has aroused your interest, some issue you've connected with more than others. Personal motivation is a huge factor in how well you will write and how easy or difficult the writing will be. Now, the next criterion previous experience or research. Familiarity can save you time and headache as you work on this project, so take advantage of it if you can. Now there are three filters you want to be sure to apply. They are one, theme, also called slant, focus, unifying idea. Second, place. Third, time. Let's watch these filters in action. Let's say that in a class I want to focus on the private security business known as Blackwater USA. My slant or focus or theme will be legal accountability. Now that is certainly not the only slant or theme I could have taken. Another theme could have been treatment of its employees or political connections or arm smuggling. So I chose one of many possible slants. The place? Iraq. Now Blackwater operates all over the world and the U.S. where it was used in New Orleans after Katrina. So I definitely need to choose a place. Time, let's say 2004 to present, and this is tied to the war in Iraq, the place filter, and the theme, which has to do with legal accountability. So after applying the three filters, I can now generate the research question that will drive my writing process. Everything I do after I formulate this question will be an attempt to satisfactorily and fully answer it. Here is the question. Under what laws should Blackwater USA be held accountable when conducting operations in Iraq? Okay, is that a good topic? Let's test it. First, is it debatable? Yes. The Iraqi government, the U.S. Congress, and the White House are all currently debating what laws, if any, should apply. Uniform Code of Military Justice, Iraqi law, Geneva Conventions, U.S. criminal law, U.S. civil law, all up in the air right now. Is it plausible? Yes. Both sides are offering strong legal claims to support their positions. Is it consequential? Yes. It's really a matter of life and death, justice and injustice. The court of world opinion is watching and waiting for the outcome of this debate. Now notice that I have not yet made up my mind whether I'm going to write a single viewpoint paper or a multiple viewpoint paper. Until I really get down into the weeds with this topic and flesh out the arguments, I probably won't know which is better for me and this topic. Now on this slide is an example of what your work can look like. For example, murder and mayhem, Blackwater USA and Iraq. Murder and mayhem will get most people's attention. Here, are, here is the filtering in number two, Blackwater USA, and then I filtered it by place, Iraq, time, and then the most important filter, that of theme or slant, legal accountability. And third, here's that all-important research question. Under whose laws should Blackwater USA be held accountable when conducting operations in Iraq? And test that research question for its debatability, its plausibility, and its consequences. So there you are, and good luck with choosing your topic.